Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of equations and tables. Looking specifically at dependent and independent variables, we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So you see we have a table here for a student who has lunch money. So his mother gives him a $10 cash at the beginning of the week, and then he spends $2 a day buying his lunch. So by the end of the week, a full 5 day week, he has no money left. So how can we write an equation to show that relationship? Well, first, we need to figure out which of the variables is dependent and which of the variables is independent. So remember that the dependent variable, that's the one that depends, see that word right there, on the independent variable. This independent variable, that prefix n means not. That means it stands alone. It starts things off. And it's the dependent variable that changes based on the independent variable. So first, let's see if we can find our independent variable. What is it that stands alone that starts things off? And in this case, it's going to be the number of days. Because that is what is just moving forward. We have zero days. That's before he's bought any lunch. One day, two day, three day, four days, five days. So we will represent our independent variable with a D. D for days. And then our dependent variable, the amount of money he has, changes based on how many days it's been. At four days, he only had $2 left, but at one day, he had $8 left. So that is going to be represented by C for cash. So how can we write an equation to represent the relationship between the number of days, our independent variable, and how much cash he has? Well, we're going to start our equation because we are looking for our dependent variable. That's our cash. So the cash is going to be equal to, now let's look to see what did he start out with. Everything is based off his starting point. So that's going to be $10. So I'm going to say 10, and then he takes away how much a day? He takes away $2 a day. So he's going to take away $2 every day. And so that's going to be dependent upon how many days it's been. So I'm going to write this as 2D. When I have a 2D, that means it's 2 multiplied by D. So let's see how this works. Let's start with day 0. Let's see how that works. So the cash is supposed to be $10. Let's see if that works. 10 take away 2 times 0. Well, 2 times 0 is 0. So 10 take away 10 equals 10. So yes, that works. Let's try it with another one. Our cash equals 10 minus 2D, or 10 minus 2 times the number of days it's been. Let's see if we can get our $2 here using 4 days. So we can say $2 equals the amount of money he started with, take away $2 a day, and in this case, it's been four days. So when I do a two times a parentheses, that means we're going to multiply here. And so that means two equals 10 take away. Let's simplify this to eight. And yes, two equals two. Now it's time for you to try. We have a new table here with boxes and cars. Five boxes has 125 cars. 10 boxes has 250 and 15 has 375. See if you can figure out which one is the dependent variable, which one is the independent variable, and write an equation to show the relationship. When you have your answer, unpause the video and check your work. So our independent variable is what's going to start things off, and that's going to be our boxes. We'll represent with B, because the boxes are the ones that drive this equation, because as the boxes increase, the cars increase, because there's so many cars in each box. We're going to represent our cars with C. So just like we did last time, our equation starts with our de dependent variable. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for the number of cars. And we can find the number of cars if we know how many boxes there are. That's our independent variable. But we need to know how many cars there are in each box. And if we look at the relationship between 5 and 125, 10 and 250, you see that it looks like it's 25 in a box. So the number of cars we have, our dependent variable, is the number of boxes, our independent variable, times 25, because there's 25 in a box.